Welcome back to Elfster's Rifles and Reloading, part two of this PSA AR pistol that has a 10 and a half inch, one and seven twist barrel sporting an SBA3 pistol brace. So I'll try my best to make this short and simple and get right to the meat of this new low development and its accuracy. So I've definitely been down this road before with 68 and 75 grain boat tail hollow points. Uh, and I eventually came to the conclusion that the 60 grain VMAX is by far a superior bullet in my opinion. Um, I've tried them in all different lengths of barrels, 16 inch, 18 inch, 20 inch, uh, all the way from 50 yards out to 600 yards. And the 60 grain VMAX uh, flat base bullet in comparison to the 68 and 75 grain bolt tail hollow points at least for me my low development always seemed to come on top um, and that's what developed this pet load that no matter what AR I put into it and I think that's proven in my past videos with low development uh, especially with my Rock River rifles the 60 grain VMAX with 23.8 grains of target CCI 41 or 400 uh, primers, coal of 2.255 inches with Lake City brass is amazing. Now with that being said, I've never done low development with the 68 and 75 grain bolt tail hollow point horny bullets before, especially in a 10 and a half inch one and seven twist barrel. With one and seven twist Typically, more times than not, have a tendency to prefer heavier bullets in comparison to the 60 grain VMAX. Also with my pet load, I'm shooting Varget. You know, according to this uh, powder burn chart, that it's more of a slower burning powder, and there is a good chance that not all that powder is gonna be able to burn within a 10 and a half inch barrel before that bullet exits the muzzle. And that's why I decided with this low development, I would try the IMR 8208 XBR, which is a faster burning powder, giving that powder to completely burn up before that bullet exits the muzzle. So enough of the BS, let's get this low development shot and see how it compares with my pet load. So I'm at the range here. We're gonna take off this red dot and put on the 16X scope and test out this new low development with 68 and 75 grain bull tail hollow point Hornady match bullets. I think it's safe to say I actually did better with the red dot and 60 grain VMAX than with the 16X scope and these 68 grain bolt tail hollow point bullets, which is kind of amazing. Um, <laughs> I think this one is definitely me here, but uh, I think these other ones are pretty rock solid. And uh, I don't know, I find this quite amazing that these didn't group better, especially with a 16x scope. But uh, anyways, that's part of the fun, part of the testing. So let's try these uh, 75 grains, see if they work any better. I think it's safe to say that the PSA 10 and a half inch barrel likes the 75 grain bow tail hollow points better. Um, you know, I think it'd be a real toss up between 22 and 22.6, uh, but night and day difference in comparison to the 68 grain bow tail hollow points. But I think what I'm going to do here just as a, um, as a test for my previous video with 60 grain VMAX is I'm going to shoot two more groups uh, with my pet load of 60 grain VMAX 23.8 grains of Varget 
and uh, shoot two more groups just to see how those perform in comparison to this low development. Well, you know, this is uh, quite surprising actually. Um, being that this 10 and a half inch barrel shooting the 60 grain VMAX, definitely better than the 60, sorry, it's kind of windy here, 68 grain. And I would say it's on par with the 75 grain, pretty close. Um, but I think actually with some low development and these 60 grain VMAX, I got a feeling they could actually perform better than these 75 grain, which is kind of remarkable. I mean, this 122.0 and 8208 XBR looks pretty promising, but you know, for my trusty pet load that I use in all of my ARs with, uh, you know, 18 inch plus barrels, <laughs> this is actually quite surprising for no low development that I shot in the part one of the series, so. Well, you know what, before I head home, I figured I need to get this uh, red dot re-sighted back in now that I have remounted. And I might as well burn up some of this ammo uh, while I'm getting uh, this red dot re-sighted back in anyway. So I'm gonna try another two or three test groups here with the red dot and the 60 grain VMAX pet loads that I usually use in my ARs. But I decided to run uh, 10 shot groups at 50 yards going back to the 50 grain VMAX. You know, this is pretty darn good, especially for 10 shots each. You know, I'd say that's about an inch group at 10 shots, 50 yards. Uh, another inch, inch and a quarter, 10 shot group there. This one's probably opening up to almost inch and three quarters, I would say. So that's pretty darn impressive. Well, part of me is surprised and part of me isn't. You know, I would have thought for sure with a one in seven twist barrel, especially with a faster burning powder, that these test loads would have performed better. And I think it's safe to say I can completely discount the 68 grain boat tail hollow points, especially being that I use a 16X scope at 50 yards. You know, the performance in my opinion was subpar. You know, short of testing, the 68 grain boat tail hollow points with other types of powder, at least for now, I think I'm gonna put that off to the side. As for the 75 grain boat tail hollow points, you know, the performance was pretty good. I would say it was a very close second to the 60 grain VMAX pet load that I typically use. But with that said, I think I'm just gonna go back to my 60 grain VMAX and maybe test out some different types of powder. We'll keep an eye out for part three, where we'll continue to do load development for this PSA 10 and a half inch barrel AR pistol. And if you have an AR pistol or an SBR with a proven load development round that you like to use, make those comments in the comments section below. I'd like to check them out. Other than that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you next time.